Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I told you I was buying this Eco X Gear 18 inch uh, waterproof sound bar and UPS truck came early today and this was on it. So uh, it's kind of good timing and I'll show you why. Um, I've got all my switches wired up that I was installing. I think I showed you guys those a couple videos ago, but I've got them pretty much wired up besides the two accessories I was waiting on, my horn and my stereo and those all kind of light up real nice so you can see them at night um spotlights winch so let's get these uh wired up the stereo and the winch or the stereo and the horn i should say and uh actually i'll probably just bring you along for the stereo then we'll test that out and that'll be pretty much good for a video. The horn's obviously the same process, so let's get going. So it comes with these two brackets that basically can be mounted anywhere. This surface here mounts up against your cage and this kind of locks in and you got screws that you screw in so that this can be anywhere 360 degrees depending on what angle you want that to um kind of point down into your buggy at so let's try to figure that out and then we'll uh, get those fastened that looks pretty darn good actually right there so i think we'll just put our screws right in we can always adjust it later um so comes with this hardware here not sure which is which. I think it's these screws here. Yep. So four screws in the end of this here. snag um when i first stuck this up here to mock it up i realized that my roof brackets were right in the same exact spot where these would have needed to mount just apparently 18 inches or 19 inches apart so all i did was i just moved my roof brackets down an inch or two each side and now that fits nice and snugly right between them so Let's get it fastened down. Um, they give me, they give you four different hose clamps, two smaller size hose clamps for a smaller diameter cage, and then two this size, and then they give you this rubber um, stuff to slide over, I guess, slide over the hose clamp. I'm gonna use the smaller hose clamps, and basically what we're doing is going around, and they fit between this little outside lip there, if you can see it, and they fit right in there so they can't slide off if they're tight and they go right around that and then up around your cage or your center tube in this case <clears throat> and uh, i'm using the smaller of the two sizes because um this is not two inch diameter like your outer cages this crossbar it's probably one and a half so let's get that thing zipped up there
That looks good. So, major takeaway there is it'd be a whole lot easier with two people. But I like that. That looks nice. That's why we're done. All right, so this is pretty straightforward here. Comes with this, um, I don't know how many feet of cord wire there is here. I would like to cut that fuse out of there. I do not need another fuse because I'm going into my accessory fuse block and I'd rather use that and then power it with my switch on and off. But let's just kind of figure out how we're gonna route this quick. So you got power in, aux in for an aux cord, which I won't be using. Accessory out so you could run, you know, whatever, a light bar back here with, I guess off the same wiring. And then aux out if you wanted to run like auxiliary speakers. So I'm probably only going to use this. The other ones I'll wrap up in some electrical tape and hide them the best I can. But I'm thinking up here and then maybe up along the inside of the cage where you're not going to see it. I can just kind of zip tie it. Of course, if you rub against a tree, all your zip ties are gonna bust off and you can see I do a little tree rubbing from time to time. You get close. Um, let me think about this for a minute. We'll be right back. So I'm cutting the inline fuse out. The other thing I did was I didn't want that red wire showing, so I wrapped everything in electrical tape. It'll give it a little bit of extra protection, but it'll also just keep it from sticking out like a sore thumb. And then I decided I am gonna run it along the inside of this cage. It's gonna be protected from trees, you know, but these zip ties might pop. But what I can do is I can put a couple hose clamps around, one here, one here, and then that's not going anywhere, um, even if the zip ties do break, so. Just come right down along like that. Um, I'm gonna have to put a little extension on this. I'm gonna stick it through the fender there after I do that. Same routing as uh, what I did here with the light. And um, then we'll just wire it into our uh, switch and into the um, ground bar here for our ground. And um, after we do that, We'll try it out. There's one. Man. I probably should have taped them together. But if you lift the fender just ever so slightly. So we'll land this one on the ground bar here and then we'll run this one right through with all the other wires right into behind our dash and connect to our switch. So I'll tidy this up and we'll 
get back with you in a minute. Stereo. Yeah, the stereo should have power. Making sure I landed it on the right one there, uh, but I guess I only got the horn left and that's way over here, so I'm good. And um, after I'm done connecting those uh, blade connectors, I just wrap a little tape around this because if I ever need to pull out a switch or something, at least this way I don't have to cut anything. Um, I can take that tape off. I can pop the wires apart, pop a switch out, or pop the accessory off without cutting anything. And um, that should work out all right. So, all right. Let's just test that. Oh, you know what? If I've got yeah, I got a fuse in there. Well, the stereo's got power now, but it probably won't turn on by itself just with that switch. Let me see if it will. Yep. Speaker on. Okay. Ready to connect. Well, sweet. Speaker mode. All right, let's try to connect to it. All right, guys, so it's been a couple weeks since I got this soundbar installed, and I wanted to wait a little bit so I could try it out and kind of do a review and um, get, show you what it uh, sounds like at the same time. So a um, couple things I don't really like is the remote. It works all right. Um, you know, you can switch your LEDs and your lights on from right here. I guess it is working a little bit. It didn't seem like the other day when I was pointing it up this way, it wanted to turn everything on. It does seem like it's working a little bit better now, but I don't ever use it, at least on the two-seater. My speaker's right there. I just turn around. If I want to turn the lights on, I hit one button. If I want to turn the lights off, I hit another button. Um, the other thing I definitely do different uh, than what I did in this video for you guys is I put this on keyed power, the switch, and that should really go on constant power because when you stop on the trail and you have a drink with your buddies or whatever, when you shut your machine off, the speaker shuts off right now with it. If I had that on constant power, I could keep my music running and I wouldn't have to 
reach back, turn that back on after I turn the key off. So that was a mistake on my part. Um, that's something I'm going to rectify here pretty quick. But uh, I love the lights that are in it. You've got, you know, almost like a third brake light back here, and it switches different colors with red, green, blue, white. Um, so that's cool and then it's got the lights and the speakers that you can have them you know kind of go with the music the beat or you can just turn them to one solid color uh, but let's turn it on because that's you know the real deciding factor if people want to buy this thing or not you know they buy it for the sound not the lights or anything else the lights are just a bonus So overall, I'm really happy with it. It seems like a really well-built product. Um, install was super easy. And the install is gonna be just like this, pretty much on any soundbar you buy. Uh, but the one thing that really stood out to me on this one in particular is, a lot of these soundbars say water resistant. This one was actually full waterproof, it said. And that was a big selling point to me because I don't want something that I gotta take off when I wash the machine or worry about it if it's raining out or if you're splashing through a creek or mud hole. So um, we'll see how it works in the long run. And uh, you know, if I have any issues, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post them on here or do another video. But um, so far, it's been a great uh, addition to the buggy and I've used it pretty much nonstop for the past couple weeks. So definitely makes riding that much more enjoyable when you got some tunes to go with the uh with the scenery so hope you guys enjoyed this hope it helped you a little bit and uh we'll see you guys on the next one